Welcome everyone. Thanks for joining us tonight to celebrate some of the accomplishments of the great class of 2020. Obviously, we'd much rather have you all sitting in this beautiful theater that I'm in right now, dressed to the nines, but unfortunately, like so many things this spring, we've had to adjust due to the pandemic. But let's not let that dampen our spirits. We're here to celebrate you and the fantastic achievements that you've accomplished and the awards that you're about to receive tonight. With that being said, our local scholarship program is a collaboration of over 40 organizations that provide scholarships for deserving students. While all students complete the same application, some organizations require additional steps. Students may have personal interviews, may have written special essays, they may have taken qualifying tests, or participated in specific volunteer opportunities. Applying for various scholarships can keep our seniors very busy, as lots of you know. Uh, each year we hear from all the selection committees about how difficult it is to, a, to choose only a few exceptional candidates from a, such a great pool of exceptional candidates, I'm sorry. Uh, we're so grateful for our community, which supports our school in so many ways. This year our local businesses are awarding approximately $100,000 in scholarships to Chan Hassan High School seniors. Combining that with scholarship students have reported themselves to the, from their colleges, this year's class has earned well over $5.4 million. And that's a tremendous accomplishment and just a, a quick snapshot of how great you guys are. So without further ado, let's get to the, the business of awarding scholarships. My name is Ella Sharkey. I'm a fifth grader here at Chan Hassan Elementary. I started here in preschool. At first, I felt so nervous and scared that I wasn't going to have any friends. And then, when I first walked in and all the preschool teachers welcomed me, I knew I was going to be just fine. I've learned so many life lessons here at Chan Hassan Elementary. My third grade teacher, Mrs. Larson, taught me how to always give my best and be grateful. My years here have taught me to never give up. I will miss it here, but no matter where I am, I will always have the heart of a Chan star. Our first scholarship winner never gives up either. She credits her drive and compassion for others to the teachers of Chan Hassan Elementary who fostered her love for learning. This is where her passion for reading was embraced and enriched. Her teacher supplied books that would challenge her and feed that need to read and learn. She says that encouragement only wanted to make her read more. Challenge and support of others are very important to her. She contributes to our community in many ways. She volunteered at the Ronald McDonald House Chan Hassan Elementary School and Carver County Health and Human Services. Of course, this led our winner into a career as a child welfare social worker. She plans to attend the University of Iowa and major in social work. We are very proud to, rep to present this award to Maddie Holly. Congratulations, you won! <laughs> My name is Will Annis, and I'm a fifth grader at Chan Hassan Elementary. I moved to Chan Hassan right after my fifth birthday. I was very lucky to be placed in the K-12 family at Chan Hassan Elementary. The K-12 family is a class where you're with the same group of kids for three years in a row. You start by being around older kids and learning from them, and as you move grades, you become the older kid that helps teach the younger kids. I think that is a cool program that I really enjoy. The teachers at Chan Elementary combine activities and learning in a way that has set me up to be a successful middle schooler next year. I feel very lucky to be a Chan star. Our next scholarship winner also appreciated his teachers at Chan Hassan Elementary. He says those years had a major impact on his life. He credits the many advanced classes he was able to take while at elementary school. He said this set him up for success, feeling confident, taking advanced classes at middle school, he said he learned how to study and how to handle the pressure of a heavy academic load. This challenge for drive, this drive for challenge continued through high school, taking two X classes, four AP classes, and four PSEO classes. He plans to move on to college and take all that he has learned to the University of Madison, Wisconsin, or the University of Minnesota to major in finance. We are very proud to award our second scholarship winner to Cole Severson. Congratulations, good luck in all you do. Let 
Let's go storm. Greetings, Chanhassen High School seniors. I'm Joan McDonald, the principal of Bluff Creek Elementary, where our students roar with pride. And I'm here this evening to congratulate you on reaching this important milestone of high school graduation. I'm also here tonight on behalf of the Bluff Creek Elementary PTO, and I am here to award our yearly scholarship to a Bluff Creek alumni who has continued to demonstrate our three core values, respect, collaboration, and personal responsibility. Through this process, we read many essays and we were impressed to hear how much many of our students remembered great memories from Bluff Creek. And there were many familiar themes. First of all, they all commented on how inclusive our school community is and how they felt they belonged. The second thing they mentioned is the fact that there were many caring adults who they came back to visit and still remember fondly. Third, we have many students mention that service learning and that reaching out to the community was an important part of their Bluff Creek experience. And finally, personalized learning and it's um, in the types of activities they did that helped them to excel and grow were all things that they remembered about Bluff Creek. Now on behalf of the Bluff Creek Elementary staff, I want to congratulate the graduating class of 2020. Um, this spring did not turn out to be like anything any of us expected but we are confident that our Chanhassen High School graduates will go out into the greater community and shine brightly. The recipient of the Bluff Creek Elementary PTO Scholarship is Leah Maher. Congratulations, Leah. We know you will make Chanhassen High School proud. Congratulations, Chanhassen High School graduates. My name is Jill Valore, Principal of Victoria Elementary. Tonight, I have the honor of presenting two scholarships from our Victoria Elementary PTO. We had many wonderful applicants, all of whom are Victoria Elementary Lakers. All of you have done amazing things during your high school years, and we are so proud of all of your accomplishments. Tonight, we're excited to present our school scholarships to Nathan Heinen and Taylor Newville. Congratulations to you both. Hello, I'm Aaron Martin, president of the Chaska Chanhassen Football Association. For those who may not be familiar with our organization, the CCFA has been in the community for 20 plus years. We focus on development of local youth through lessons in character, sportsmanship, teamwork, and the importance of physical health. Each year, the CCFA awards $750 scholarships to four graduating seniors from Chanhassen High School and Chaska High School. Each applicant must demonstrate strong academic responsibility, volunteer many hours of community service, and participate in football at the high school level. The selection process was not easy this year. We received many strong applications, and it was very hard to choose from everyone. With that said, these scholarship winners rose to the occasion by not only being the best student athletes they could be, but by also volunteering their time at a high level in community service, and by being great examples of good stewardship. In short, these individuals carried on the CCFA philosophy of giving a best effort, and they have earned our recognition. It is with full confidence that we can say these young men are ready to head out into the world and represent our community with honor and distinction. And on behalf of the CCFA Board of Directors, it is my honor to award the Chanis and Storm football players who will each be receiving the 2020 CCFA scholarship of $750. Timothy Conan, and Jack Schaefer. Congratulations, guys. CCFA is proud of your accomplishments and we wish you the best on your future endeavors. Hello, my name is Lindsay Lawler and I am a member of Ridgeview's Healthcare Scholarship Committee. I am excited to share how our scholarship supports seniors in our community and congratulate your school's scholarship recipient. Each year, Ridgeview offers $2,000 scholarships to high school seniors pursuing a career in the healthcare industry. The Ridgeview system that supports these scholarships include Ridgeview Medical Center, Ridgeview Sibley Medical Center, and Ridgeview Lesseur Medical Center. The recipients are chosen from high schools in these hospital service areas. 
One very accomplished Chanhassen High School student was chosen as this year's Ridgeview Healthcare Scholarship recipient due to a combination of academics, extracurricular activities, and excellent writing ability. He demonstrated all the necessary qualities that will assist him in achieving his goals in the healthcare field. Congratulations to Timothy Conan. We are proud of what you've accomplished so far and excited to see what you have in store for the future. Thank you. Hi, my name is Chris Orkut. I'm president of C3 Lacrosse. I'm here to present a boy and girl a college scholarship in the amount of $500. This is the Henry Whitney Scholarship. For those of you that have had children in youth sports in Chanhassen, they have always seen Henry. He is an integral part of many of our youth sports. His kids long graduated, but Henry loves working with area youth. Henry behind the scenes or at many different functions uh, is always there. He's a little camera shy, so I'm gonna uh, hold up Henry for those of you that don't uh, remember. So anyways, what goes into our scholarship is it's uh, kids that have played at least two years in our program of summer lacrosse, academics, community involvement, and a essay. Uh, the two re recipients of the scholarship for Chan Hassan uh, have been an integral part of our program, not only as players, but as youth coaches. Uh, they are mentors to our youth and uh, uh, one of the first people to ever volunteer for uh, camps, for coaching, and everything else. So without further ado, uh, the girls recipient of the $500 scholarship is Sydney Soto and the boys is Hunter Holcomb. Best of luck in your future. Thank you for everything you've done for C3. My name is Greg Holcomb and I am the president of the Chan and Boys Lacrosse Booster Club. I have the great honor tonight of announcing the second annual Guy Grimberg Booster Club Scholarship winner. The Guy Grimberg Booster Club Scholarship was founded in 2018 as a way to honor Mr. Grimberg for his many, many years of volunteerism, dedication, hard work, and commitment to not only the Chan and Boys Lacrosse team, but to his involvement in the C3 Youth Lacrosse Program. Like Mr. Grimberg, this scholarship is awarded to a hardworking senior lacrosse player who has demonstrated over his high school career high levels of leadership qualities, both in the classroom and on the playing field, has graciously volunteered his time to work with the youth programs year after year, and has demonstrated a strong work ethic and high morals. This scholarship is special in that it's a $500 a year scholarship that is awarded for up to four years of post high school education. The Booster Club would like to congratulate all three applicants as well as the entire group of 2020 lacrosse seniors. We know the season did not turn out at all like anyone had planned. Our hearts go out to each of you. The Booster Club wants to wish you the best of luck in your next adventure in life. And now, I'm extremely honored and proud to announce this year's 2020 Guy Grimberg Booster Club Scholarship winner is Vincent Manuel. Congratulations, Vincent. Hi, Greg Fletcher here to award the 2020 Chanassen Lions Club Scholarships. The Lions Club is a fun service organization that gives back to our community. We raise funds throughout the year by selling Christmas trees, hosting a golf tournament, and, and doing a pancake breakfast. Some of the community service activities throughout the year are spring and fall adopt a highway, a fall food drive at Cub Foods, midsummer senior center picnic at Lake Ann, spring and fall treehouse meal projects for the teens at Chaska Treehouse, Lions also provide scholarships for college or trade school bound students after graduating high school. In addition to the service projects, the Chan Asson Lions Club contributes financially to the Minnesota Lions Vision Foundation, also called the Gift of Sight, the Minnesota Lions Hearing Foundation, Children's Minnesota Pediatric Cancer Care, 
and can do canines where they train service dogs. The Chanass and Lions Scholarship Program was established in 1988 for college and trade school bound Chanass and students. We award three scholarships of $1,000 each to students who have demonstrated that financial need reflect the Lions service motto by participating in extracurricular activities and leadership qualities. The 2020 Lions Scholarship Awards go to Eleanor Brown, Jacob Rasmussen, and Alexandra Gannon. Thank you and uh, congratulations kids and hope you have fun in college. Hi, my name is Peg Sorensen. My husband, Ken, was unable to be here today. We are awarding a Chaska swimmer with the Swimming with Jenna Memorial Scholarship in honor of our daughter, Jenna. She graduated from Chaska High School in 2002, and she was a swimmer on the team. We were swimmers. Jenna became a great swimmer. In age 12, Jenna won the open water mile at the Central Zones in Arkansas. She was really excited for high school swimming until the Crohn's disease symptoms started. Bloody diarrhea, abdominal pain, she suffered greatly and she tried to hide that bloody diarrhea. Misdiagnosed for too long, Jenna became very ill in December 97. The inflammation in her body overwhelmed her system and sent blood clots to her brain. She suffered three strokes at age 14, paralyzed on her right side and unable to speak she survived because she was in such great shape from swimming. But eight long, hard years of rehabilitation were in store. It was a lot. We owned our own swim team, Minnesota Makos, and we won the state meet that year. Jenna got back in the pool and placed fifth in the mile event just eight months after her strokes. The U of M Aquatic Center gave her a standing ovation, but her brain injury and Crohn's disease would continue to be difficult. She graduated from Chaska in 2002, and she was killed in a car crash at the age of 22 in July of 06. Her experience swimming for Chaska High School helped her in many ways. The friends she longed for were helping her here. We, were always, we will always be grateful for the kind swimmers who befriended her and the wonderful staff and teachers at the high school. We loved reading your opening essay. You seem to be a truly caring young lady. Your words and actions do impact others. You are very wise and kind. You really care about your friends. You understand hard work and your moral compass is well formed. You see Michael Phelps and Katie Ledecky as inspiring figures to help keep yourself pressing forward and that's great. Love the lesson you learned early in life with a heart-shaped paper. Your words matter, and no one wants their hearts to be crinkled up. Chloe Zeller, you have earned this scholarship with a wonderful application. You seem to be a bright young lady. Enjoy your first year of college. I'm sure Jenna will be watching you. Have fun at the U of M. Bye-bye. The Melanie Nelson Memorial Scholarship is given by the Nelson family in memory of their daughter, Melanie, whose life was cut short way too soon when she suffered from a brain aneurysm at age 12. The scholarship was first awarded in 2014, the year in which she would have graduated high school. Melanie was an avid swimmer and a very good friend. She was a lively, enthusiastic student, a committed athlete, and a caring person. These $500 scholarships are awarded to Sophia Becker and Eleanor Brown. Hello, Chan Hassan High School. I'm Brent Romanesco, the president of the Victoria Lions Club. First, I'd like to congratulate all of you on reaching the end of this school year, including you teachers and administrators. The last few months have been interesting, to say the least. Lions Clubs International is the largest service organization in the world. Over 1.4 million members are dedicated to helping those in need and have been for over 100 years. 
My club, the Victoria Lions Club, has 110 members and we serve our community in a variety of ways. We perform service projects like highway cleanup and delivering poinsettias to our friends in nursing homes. We also hold a fundraising events like our annual softball tournament, fish fry, and spring fling. The money we raise goes towards specific initiatives like childhood cancer, diabetes, eyesight, and hunger. Community service is a core value of our organization. We're here today to award scholarships to a select few students who demonstrate this value of community service in Victoria. I have the pleasure of awarding $1,000 scholarships to Spencer Dyken, Andrew Malky, Ben Ramler, and Eleanor Wagner. Congratulations, Spencer, Andrew, Ben, and Eleanor. The Victoria Lions Club is proud of the work you've done. We hope you will continue to impact the lives of others through service to your community. Hello, my name is Jeremy Sen, and I'll be awarding the graduating class of 2020 service scholarships presented by the Rotary Club of Chanhassen. Rotary's motto is service above self. These scholarships are awarded to those students that have demonstrated not only involvement in school activities and academic success, but more importantly, volunteer service. While we are not able to give scholarships to all that applied, we were inspired by the countless hours all those ap applicants demonstrated. We are reminded yet again that the spirit of service before self is alive and well in our youth. Thank you to all of those that applied. We wish you continued success on your next journey. It's my pleasure to announce Chanhassen High School's Class of 2020 Service Scholarship winners. Gabby Barrerio, Courtney Zelke, Alex Perry, Will Harmdierks, Madeline Hawley, Megan Notham, Alexis Block, Sydney Curtis, Harley Erlinson, Ryan Wellner, Mackenzie Miller, Cole Severson, and Jack Schaefer. Congratulations. Jean Lindquist was a young and gifted master music teacher who taught at Chaska Middle School in the early 90s. In just five short years, she touched many lives and inspired hundreds of middle school students. Tragically, she was diagnosed with leukemia and passed away in March of 1997. With the support of Jean's family and District 112 music staff, an endowed scholarship was established to honor her memory. Two $500 scholarships will be given to students planning to participate in music in college. Chanhassen High School's Class of 2020 Jean Lindquist Memorial Scholarship Award winners are Claire Folkt and Olivia Riegert. The John Philip Sousa Award is the pinnacle of achievement in high school band. Introduced in 1955 to honor the top student in their high school band, the award recognizes superior musicianship and outstanding dedication. It was created with the approval of Helen Souza Albert and Priscilla Souza, daughters of the famous composer and bandmaster. It is given at most high schools around the country. Chanhassen High School's Class of 2020 John Philip Souza Award winner is Josh Bodmer. The Louis Armstrong Jazz Award was inaugurated in 1974 with the consent of his widow shortly after the American jazz icon's death. It honors the outstanding jazz musician at each school. Chanhassen High School's Class of 2020 Louis Armstrong Jazz Award winner is Peter Carlson. Good evening, Chanhassen High School. My name is Sarah Gilbertson and I'm the choir director at the high school. Tonight I'd like to present some awards that we usually give away at our final concert. Um, since that concert did not happen, we're pleased and um, very thrilled to be part of this presentation tonight. So the awards we're gonna be giving away were voted on by the choir students, so it's also very meaningful for students to receive these two awards. <music> The 
first one is the Fred Waring Award, and it recognizes the talent and enthusiasm of outstanding choral members in the department. This year's recipients are Jordan Madsen and Cecilia Berggren. Congratulations. The next award is the National Choral Award, and it's the highest honor for high school choral performers, and it recognizes the dedication and musical achievement of the top male and top female students in the choral department. This is a very high honor, and more than likely, these students are gonna continue on into music after high school in some form. This year's recipients are Alex Perry and William Mouse. Congratulations, we're very proud of you all. Congratulations, seniors, and congratulations to the families that, that support you. Congratulations, true, to uh, Chan Hassan High School staff and, and teachers. You've done an incredible job in an extremely difficult year. We, we all have. I'm Chris Commerce. I'm with the Chaska Education Association. We're a union of, of teachers here in District 112 that work to enhance uh, the sustainability of our, of our craft and to promote the, the well-being and success of our, of our students. An example of that support for students uh, lies in our scholarships. We are giving three scholarships uh, this evening. The CEA scholarship is a $1,000 award to, to seniors distinguishing themselves in academic and personal growth. In their, during their high school career. And the CEA Future Educator uh, Scholarship is a $2,000 award, and that goes to a successful senior with a proven capacity uh, to be a teacher in the future. This year's CEA scholarships go to Grace Lynch and Kate McKinney. Congratulations. And the Future Educator Award goes to Jordan Matson. Congratulations. To you too, Jordan. Have a good night. Thank you. I'm Terry Kemble, and I'm presenting the scholarships for the Storm Booster Club and the Chan Hassan Athletic Association. I would like to congratulate all the recipients and wish you all the best. For the Booster Club, we are awarding eight scholarships at $500 each. Theo Kokacek, Emma Arlt, Ellie Wagner, Aaron McCurry, Carly Connolly, Ryan Wellner, Victor Ponair, and Mason Calvoda. Congratulations. For the Athletic Association, we're presenting eight scholarships at $750. The students who have to have played basketball, baseball, softball, soccer, or volleyball. They are Jack Schaefer, Courtney Wedden, Hallie Ellison, Macy McGinley, Lizzie Peterson, Nathan Hennon, Tim Coonan, and Nelson Cole. Congratulations. Hi, Storm Nation. Cullen Bond here, Assistant Principal and Athletic Director. Uh, I'm excited to announce a few awards tonight that relates to our athletic department. First, I'd like to give a shout out to the Chanhassen Booster Club uh, for everything that they do. Um, also, the parents that support the Booster Club and everything that you do for our student athletes. We could not do what we do without your support, and we're very grateful for that. Um, specifically, the Booster Club. Um, they will give out $500 scholarships to each one of our students that we talk about today. So it's a grand total of $3,000 that um, is going right back to our student athletes. So Chanhassen Booster Club, thank you so much for, for your dedication and support to our athletes. So three awards that I get to introduce tonight is our AAA award, um, Fine Arts and Activities, Athletics, and then Academics. And we'll get into our, our Athena and our Hercules award. And then lastly, we'll finish up with our outstanding male and female athletes uh, for this evening. <music> Award. This year, the 1920 AAA recipients were Courtney Whedon and Noah Borwich. Uh, Noah is going to be heading to Concordia St. Paul next year where he plans to play baseball. He is undecided in his major. And then Courtney is going to be headed to the University of North Dakota where she's going to be on the golf team. And she plans to major in accounting. So Noah and Courtney, thank you so much for everything that you've done for Chan Hansen High School. And we wish you nothing but the best. Athena and Hercules Award. 
Our 2019-20 uh, recipients were Tori Tollefson was our Athena Award winner, and Nick Scheller was our Hercules Award winner. Outstanding athletes, um, outstanding student athletes. Um, next year, Tori is going to be heading to uh, SDSU where she plans to play softball and then major in exercise science. Nick is going to be going to the Air Force Academy where he will be running cross country and track and plans to study aviation. Um, so Nick and Tori, congratulations. Nothing but, the nothing but the best and thank you so much for everything that you have done uh, while you were here at Chanhassen High School. Our last award is our Outstanding Female and Male Athlete. Uh, our 1920 winners this year were uh, Zach Long and Sydney Soto. Um, Sydney is part of our cross country and girls lacrosse team. Uh, she's, gonna, uh, she's going to Oregon next year to play girls lacrosse. She plans to major in sports medicine in Spanish. And Zach is part of our cross country and track program. And he plans to head to the University of North Dakota where he's gonna run cross country and track and then also plans to study business. So Sydney and Zach, congratulations on your honor. And again, we wish you uh, nothing but the best. I will say um, we would be here all night if, if I took the time to kind of read through the lists of all the accomplishments of these student athletes. Um, we will post them on our website so you can see um, all the awards that these student athletes um, have accumulated in their time here, um, some dating back to seventh grade, now, now seniors. So um, student athletes, thank you again for everything that you've done for Chanhassen High School. We wish you nothing but the best. Chanhassen Booster Club, thank you again for your support of, of Storm Athletics uh, and uh, appreciate the time tonight. I hope everyone's well and roll Storm. All right. Uh, Assistant Principal Aaron Sorbota and I have the honor of presenting the remaining local scholarships. The first award is based on selfless efforts to promote the National Honor Society's Memorial Blood Drive. National Honor Society is a service-based organization. For that reason, student being recognized tonight has shown outstanding service to our school and to our community. The winner of the Memorial Blood Drive Scholarship was chosen based on his hard work and tenacity in putting together this year's blood drive. Congratulations to this year's winner, Tommy Klinger. I have the honor of um, speaking about the Dylan Turcott Memorial Scholarship. Some of you may remember Dylan Turcott as a boy who was friendly and very good natured. Dylan's life ended too soon when he died at the end of his sophomore year. Dylan would have graduated with the class of 2016, and we remember him with a $500 scholarship. This year, the Dylan Turcott Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Emily Hewitt. The Cop Scholarship is available thanks to the generosity of the Cop Family Foundation. The Cop Family Foundation is a charitable organization that seeks ways of helping people move on with their life plans. They have donated scholarships to three of our students who have demonstrated academic excellence and leadership. These students are known for their determination, their strong work ethic, and each has a unique and special quality that contributes to their, their success. The $500 awards go to Maggie Curtis, Jacob Rasmussen, and Jordan Callio. The League of Women Voters is a citizens organization that has fought since 1920 to improve our government and engage all citizens in the decisions that impact their lives. Formed from the movement that secured the right for women to vote, the League of Women Voters, a nonpartisan political organization, encourages informed and active participation in government, works to increase understanding of major public policy issues, and influences public policy through education and ag advocacy. The scholarship award is given annually to a graduating senior who exemplifies League of Women Voters values. Major qualities considered are citizen involvement, volunteerism, and a commitment to League principles such as encouragement of open discussion, respect for the right to disagree, and informed decision making. The scholarship was first given in 2002 
and is named for Lucy Hartley, a longtime member of the League of Women Voters of Eastern Carver County, who embodied the ideals of the League. Lucy Hartley was a member of the Chaska High class of 1928 and was 10 years old when women first secured the right to vote. This year, we present our award in the amount of $1,000 to Nadine Joseph. Congratulations. The Carver Lions Scholarships are given to students who have demonstrated service, community involvement, and the willingness to do the right thing. This year, the $1,000 Carver Lions Brad Bramick Scholarship goes to Grace Lynch, Harley Erlinson, Olivia Reichert, Gabby Barrero, and Megan Hackinson. Precision Heating and Cooling, located in Chaska, awards a scholarship to a senior who performs to his or her ability, displays good citizenship, enjoys learning, and plans to attend a two or four year college. This year, the $500 scholarship is awarded to Ella Bloomquist. All right, the Chan Hassan American Post, number 580, has awarded 10 $1,000 scholarships to students who have demonstrated exceptional academic work, who have participated in school and community events, and who are role models in their leadership. This year, the Chan Hassan American Legion scholarships go to Ben Chua, Sophia Merrill, Jaden Niska, Ali Santini, Kylie Schendel, Ellie Robbins, Nadine Joseph, Ethan Creamer, Lucas Mishi, Cindy Chow, Will Harndirks, Thomas Klinger, Morgan Mensch, Laura Cook, and Elena Shelby. Congratulations to all of you. All right, the uh, Carver County 4-H Federation Advisory Board Scholarship is based on the following areas. 4-H involvement at the club, county, state, and national level, school and community involvement, written essay goals, and general impression. The Carver County 4-H Federation is proud to announce that Stephanie Williams is the recipient of a $200 scholarship to defray the cost of their advanced education. Stephanie has been actively involved in 4-H horse projects since second grade, participating at many different levels. Congratulations, Stephanie. The Lindquist family has sponsored four $300 department scholarships to recognize outstanding achievements in different academic areas. The teachers in the math, science, English, and social studies departments all chose one student who represents an outstanding student in their field. The departments have chosen the following students. English, Harley Erlinson. Math, Kylie Schendel. Social studies, Tommy Klinger. And science, Ali Santini. Congratulations. Before we conclude tonight's uh, event, uh, I would be remiss if I didn't acknowledge uh, the retirement of the fantastic Chan Hassan legend, Emily Matron, who is the person that connects Chan Hassan High School and their students to post-secondary opportunities. Um, she runs our career and college readiness uh, center, and I guarantee that every senior that's watching this right now knows who she is. She's been with our district for a very long time, does fantastic work, and we will miss her greatly, so irreplaceable. But uh, congratulations, Emily, on your retirement. We're looking forward to, to seeing what's uh, next for you on your journey. Well, that concludes our program tonight. We want to thank all the donors who, whose generosity to our students have made tonight happen. So congratulations, seniors. We are Chan. <laughs>